It's the Tim Conway Comedy Hour. With guest star, Connie Stevens. And special guest star, Walter Brennan. And now, here he is, Mr. Excitement himself, Tim Conway. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, oh. Well, quite a show for you here this week. Uh, as you all know, there are three other variety shows done here at CBS, right here at Studio Center. The Glenn Campbell Show, the Jim Neighbors Show, and the Carol Burnett Show. And now, this hit. So the other day, I saw the three of them in the hall talking, and uh, I knew that the time had come, after having this many shows on, that it, I had to kind of saddle up to them. So uh, they were standing there talking, and I went up to them, and I said, Hi, uh, you know what used to be the big three is now the big four. And I, I don't know whether it was Jim or Glenn who said, Get out of here, but I had a <laughs> crazy, easy feeling about me that they knew that I was now one of them, so I said, um, what do you say we go out and get a little bite to eat, huh? So they started whispering, and then they ran down the hall, you know? But I think if I'd have found the restaurant where they were, <laughs> really, I, and gone in and gotten a table, I'm sure that I'd have had that same crazy, easy feeling that I know that I'm one of them. So thanks to them, it's now the big four. But I'm with the show. <laughs> Uh, you folks all know that, uh, Walter and I went to college together, and, uh, <laughs> as a matter of fact, we were roommates at the old Fidelt house, uh, I guess it was just one year, though, at school, and we used to have an old, uh, house mother at the old Fidelt house who used to, you know, Wally and I were always horsing around in the room and everything, and we always said we wanted to go into show business, and, uh, she said, you know, come on, get something solid like geology or something like that, but I got a note from her, she said, you know, I understand that, uh, Wally's gonna, I call him Wally. Well, he's going to be on the show, and just great to see you two back together again, and good luck. So, Wally, nice to have you back, and uh, do you want to do that thing you used to do at stunt night? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> have some great stunt nights. How about a big hand for my old college roommate, Walter Brennan, huh? I guess it's no secret for you people who read movie magazines that uh, Wally and I used to date Connie in school. Uh, <laughs> nothing ever, anything really that romantic that ever happened, but I mean, we got to be real good friends. We used to go to all the games and stunt nights and everything together. And uh, we used to have a real ball. We'd go down to the old college inn and Connie would sing and Wally would do his John Viner impressions. So, uh, some great evenings and it's really great to see the old the old schoolmates together again, and uh, how about a nice hand for my old flame, really, in a way, <laughs> but now a real pal, Connie Stevens. <laughs> well, this is about the old classmates and the old school itself, so now on with the big show. From Television City in Hollywood, the Tim Conway Comedy Hour. Tonight, also featuring Melvin Somerville, Bonnie Bolin, Art Matrano, McLean Stevenson, Sally Scothers, and the Tom Hansen Dancer. Hachi, come on! To pile up! Presenting Tim Conway as the old man! <laughs> Doors busted. Uh, give me a plain hot dog and an orange freeze. Doors busted. <laughs> Will it be? 
<laughs> uh, plain hot dog and an orange freeze. You got it. I guess I had an orange freeze and a, and a hot dog. <laughs> what do you want on that? Uh, just plain. Mm, just plain. plain. One orange freeze and a hot dog. Hold the mustard and the ketchup and the onions and the relish and the mayonnaise and the lettuce and the tomato. And I'll get it. Just skip the egg. <laughs> okay, I had it all open in a minute. I get that phone. I'm coming. Orange, freeze, and carry out. <laughs> right, I'll get it right up there. Don't worry, she'll go whiz right up there with it. Excuse me, I gotta, gotta carry out order. I'll be right with you. Don't worry. <laughs> Got the stuff all made up. Don't worry. I'm gonna pour it in with it. Just carry it out. Dave! Dave! Hey, Dave! 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 Huh? One 
don't you take those three box lunches up to the Harris office? Huh? Harris office! Huh? Harris office! Huh? Put your hearing aid on! Huh? Uh. Uh. Take those box lunches up to the Harris office! Uh. Yeah. Gotcha! Shoot right up there, Dave. And then come back, I got some more stuff for you for Thursday. I'm gonna get you that orange freeze. I don't like to shake them up too much to get them. Oh no. There you go. That'll be a dollar. You want to lock up when you leave? <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, Drum Boogie presents The Battle of the Drums, featuring Boom Boom Billy Hoban. Luke Quayle. Babyface Paschetti. Buddy Stumper. And Gene Ontario Squiz. Hold on to your seats as these swift stick men lay down the heavy beat. Drum Boogie presents the Battle of the Drums. the drums on Drum Boogie, featuring the world's greatest drummers. Next week, the exciting sounds of Carmen Pedros, Eduardo Menotti, Manuel Tico Pacchetti, Alfredo Tuni Reneno Brutes, and Gene Tijuana Squids. Five men and their castanets next week on this stage. The baseball season has been over for months. But that doesn't mean a thing on this show. Here's Tim along with Walter Brennan. Hockey I could understand, but why baseball? Last half of the ninth inning here, Iggy McIntyre is still trying to hang on to a 3-2 lead. Wilson in the batter's box now. McIntyre looks for the signal, gets it, winds. Here's the pitch. Foul ball coming back over our broadcast booth here. Count still remains. <laughs> McIntyre with a new ball out there now. Rubs it up a bit. Wilson in the batter's box. Here's the signal. 
McIntyre winds. Here's the pitch. Foul ball. Back up over our broadcast booth again. Count still. Do you mind changing places with me? McIntyre trying to hold on to the lead here. Last half of the ninth inning. As you know, McIntyre's record for the year so far, 0-3. McIntyre now ready. Here's the windup. Here's the pitch. Foul ball again. Back up over the broadcast booth. Well, that's three and McIntyre now with a new ball. Looks down with the signal. Gets it. Here's the windup. The pitch. Ground ball down to second base. Hawthorne up with it. Over to first, and he's out. And that retires the side here. Last half of the ninth inning. I was just kidding about that grounder. <laughs> And now, KLEV News presents Guy on the Go. Guy Games at the Rocky Bar Lighthouse out in Lake Erie. Oh, Bew had a nice weekend, too. This is Guy Games, your Guy on the Go. Hear that foghorn? Well, tonight I'm visiting with Captain Barney Tucker, his son and his son's wife, who have lived in the Rocky Bar Lighthouse for the past 15 years. The Tuckers are now dining, and we thought it might be interesting to just kind of sit in and pick up some of the routine conversation to see what life is like here, living in a lighthouse on Rocky Bar. Mm -hmm. our visit with the Tucker family. Yes, an evening with three delightful lighthouse people. Three people who seem to be very close to their work. Uh, this is Guy Gaines, Guy on the Go, returning you to KLEV. We would like to fulfill a request for a particular song we were asked to sing, and it's really a pleasure to do so, because it's a particular favorite of mine. I haven't discussed it with David, but I'm sure it's a favorite of his also. It's the beautiful and moving song from the hit Broadway musical, Man of Lasagna. I'm sure you remember the one I'm referring to. Uh, Man of, Man of Richard Richard La Mancha, is that La Mancha, is that? Yeah, and it's the love story of Don Quixote. You know the one I'm talking about. Don, Anyhow, Don Quixote. Don Coyote. Anyhow, we would like to sing the song for you now, and I'm referring, of course, 
the, to the lovely, the haunting, very inspirational, impossible dream. Well, you got me there. I don't know that one. I mean, it's, it's... <laughs> I just introduced it. Why do you tell me that now? Well, I just don't know. Well, I know the song. Follow me. You're unbelievable. If I could fake it on the dream. The impossible gets bigger and a big ending. I'll read you. Why didn't you tell me before? I know the song. I'll read your lips. Oh, not your incredible. <laughs> guys get their own show uh, you've seen it happen on some of the other shows that are already on this year a lot of guys become phony you know what I mean take on a whole different personality or something like that and it really isn't fair to the audience or it isn't fair to you people and I just want you to know in all sincerity that that's not gonna happen on this show we started out being sincere with you and we're gonna end up uh, being sincere with you because we feel it Okay, all right, I'd, I'm on a level with you. I had a nose job. <laughs> How do you like it? Stay portion for the second tune of the Tim Conway Comedy Hour with Tim's guests, Walter Brennan and Connie Stevens. And now, we return for the second portion of the Tim Conway Comedy Hour. Still coming out? Head talk now. We're on our way to meet Tim and Art Vetrano in Las Vegas. Blackjack, sorry. Oh, that's it for me. Thank you. Eighteen? Sixteen. Sixteen. Sorry. Go again? Yeah. <clears throat> I stick. Eighteen. Pay nineteen. I got seventeen. Seventeen. One behind. Okay. All right. Go on again? Yeah. Stick. Stick. 19. Pay 20. 18. I got 18. Yeah. Closer. <laughs> In? Yeah. I stick. Stick. 20. 21. You got 19. 19. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Black check. I had twenty there. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> Go ahead. We shoot it all. Mm, yeah. Okay. Okay, hit me. Hit me again. <laughs> I got 23! Get out that good cards that are so much! This is all my money is gone! Stop 
broke. No, I broke right here. Yeah. I got nothing. I got two kids. And my wife's gonna kill me. Well, I mean, the game. No, that ain't the game. No, it ain't the game. You say it's the game. I can throw it top of your hat. Well, wait a minute, Charlie. Look. But I'm broke. Look, I, I, I know I'm broke. Uh, you don't know how broke I am. Here you go. Uh, no, you what go. is that? It ain't enough. <laughs> Give me some money if you're gonna live with guys. What are you, fifteen dollars? Well, I. Uh, <laughs> my wife, my mother. Doesn't even thirty. There you go. Well, no, no, I need more. <laughs> You gotta yeah. give me more. You gotta help a guy. What is that? Your license? <laughs> well, you gotta give me something to live on. I like got kids. Well, I can't give you a. Uh, uh, you sure. can. I like that. <laughs> it ain't enough. Well, I mean, <laughs> I need to watch. It's engraved. I mean, maybe it's something anyway. <laughs> there you go. Why don't you just one up the room now, huh? Maybe. Okay, yeah, we'll play it all on next card. <laughs> Play one more. With uh, everything. I'm you don't want to take it and go, do you? No. <clears throat> well, uh... <clears throat> Blackjack. <laughs> well, that's all my money. <laughs> You shouldn't be in this business if you can't take it, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> we have a couple singers on the show, Bruce Bellin and David Somerville, as you know, and we could have gone out with a show like this and gotten some guys like the Fifth Dimension or Blood, Sweat and Tears, but those guys cost a lot of money, of course, so here are these guys. <laughs> There's a whole lot of talk going down among my people And the world hangs on every word I guess people are just trying to be people That's the way to live from all I've heard And all we need is a little more time to get it together there's a whole lot of people been trying to get it together Like you and me Like you and me That's all we need to be free Just a little more time to get it together Well, I heard a brother talking today He said he found a direction He said you go your way, buddy, I'll go well, it looks good in print, but the practice needs a little correction. Why don't I try your thing, friend? Try mine. Oh, oh, oh. And all we need is a little more time to get it together. Cause there's a whole lot of people that try to get it together. Like you and me. Like you and me. That's all we need to be free. But just a little more time. Down and out on your street Who need helping Some folks just don't know What it is they need But they do respond to love Thank God, brother, love is a blessing A little child can be so much more Than just a mouth to feed And all we need is a little more time To get it together Together, together, together.
Yeah. 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 That is what, uh, standing over there. Wow, huh? Gee, you know something? I'm really beginning to like you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's taken some time, but uh, really, you, you, I like the personalities you got, and the, the sound, the looks, everything. Thank you. Just Thank really, you no much. kidding. Thank you very much. I, I don't understand why you're not catching on. <laughs> I was waiting for something. Some things happen. Yeah. <laughs> Hold it, fellas. I'm tired. Let's hitch a ride. Here comes Tim in his carpool. Hello! Chitty clop! <laughs> Good morning, commuters. It's Monday in the big town, so don't you frown. Because with a little bit of luck, today you'll make a buck. Do you believe this clown? That's right, freeway friends. Listen. Be on the lookout because this morning, our station smile car is heading west on the Ventura Freeway. And if he spots your car and everyone in it is smiling, you win a hundred dollars. Hey, 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 smile to work today. Did you hear that? Hey. Hey, that smile car's on the Ventura Freeway. That's our freeway. <laughs> Did you hear that? If everybody in a car is smiling, you win a hundred bucks. Ah, oh, he'll never see us. I never win anything. It's a waste of time. Oh, no, no, Monty at the plant won last month. The smile car spotted him parked on an off-ramp, and he won. <laughs> well, Monty is always smiling because Monty is a moron. Come on, Holder, what does it hurt to try? Mm -hmm. Hey, you know something? She's right. Come on up. That thing is on the Ventura Freeway. At least we got a chance. Come on, everybody. Let's get a smile. Come on. Get it up. Come on, we can win 100 bucks. Let's go. What kind of smile is that? This happens to be my 30 days to a better personality smile. I took a corner. Didn't help, huh? <laughs> Come on, everybody. Keep smiling. Uh, I feel like an idiot. Hey, how are we going to split the money? Going to split it 50-50. How do you think? That's fair. Mm -hmm. 50 for me, and then uh, you guys split the other 50 however you want. That's not fair. No, I should say not. We're all smiling equally. It should be divided equally. Yeah, equal shares for everyone. What are you talking about, equal shares for everyone? It's my car. It's our smiles. Yeah, well, your smile is riding in my car. Yeah, well, we pay you good money to smile in this car. Okay, Walter. I want to tell you something right now. Either you get a smile on your face, or I'm going to smack you right in the mouth. Uh, how is he going to smile with no teeth? Because <laughs> I'm going to stick a wrench in his mouth. <laughs> hey, I think I see the smile car up ahead. Yes. Blair, Blair, the one with the smiling lips on the tongue. Yeah, that's right, it is it. Come on, come on, guys. Hurry up, you got to smile on. Let's go, come on, I'm going to pull alongside. I am not smiling. Huh? Walter, you're getting me mad. I'm telling you, you are getting me mad. You Get will not see on one face. glimmer. You will not see one glimmer of a smile on my face until these financial arrangements are renegotiated. Now come on, Will. The car's coming up now. Will you smile at the car? Come on, Walter. Equal shares or nothing. Come on, Walter. Equal shares or nothing. Walter, get a smile on your face. Equal or shares or you. nothing. <laughs> all right, all right. Equal shares. There you see. When the chips are down, management comes around. <laughs> yeah. uh, the car's not noticing the smiling. Uh, I hit the car in front of us. Yeah. The smile car didn't even see us. No. And we were all smiling. Yeah. I ran into the car in front of us. Oh, boy. You really blew us. You owe us each 20 bucks. We would have won if it wasn't for your stupid driving. You owe us each 20 bucks. I don't hey. owe anybody anything. Hey! Ah, shut up, will you? Hello. <laughs> oh. You folks find hitting my patrol car funny? It is your car, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, there you go. Didn't see it. It's all black and white. <laughs> There's no dent in it. <laughs> Once again, ladies and gentlemen, it's 
time for the highly acclaimed, internationally renowned, the spectacular, unbelievable, stupendous Zucchini. Ladies and gentlemen, I am one part of the great Zucchinis, and this here is my brother. <laughs> this is my brother, who is a human projectile. He will be shot through this cannon with a violent velocity. Now, to make this trick a little more difficult, my brother will be caught, be caught in midair, in midair by the great Hugo Adela. <laughs> you don't tell me that Hugo is going to catch me. Ah, uh, Hugo, I tell you now, Hugo is going to catch you. <laughs> Hugo is a one half of another great flying Adelaide. I don't see the net. No net. Hey, Hugo got the catch. You're a great zucchini. You know that time in Detroit, the guy that didn't catch Ah, uh, That's why we work in Cleveland. He's a catch. He plays baseball. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Are you ready? You go! Close, huh? Very close. <laughs> Charles Van Schuyler, we have found, was the richest man around back in Cleveland where he had a lot of power. He got millions and renown Building parking lots in town Where the people had to pay a buck an hour Well, here it is, Shirley The last undeveloped land in Cleveland A neck and a half of beautiful lush greenery And the first thing I'm gonna do is cement the whole area And make it a parking lot That's a good idea, Bonner you can charge a dollar for the first hour with 50 cents for each additional hour with a maximum of $3 a day. Daddy, what about validation? Look, Shirley, let me take care of business, will you? What is it? What's that noise? The monkey man of Cleveland. <laughs> the fabled monkey man of Cleveland, whose parents mysteriously disappeared on a Kiwanis picnic 30 years ago and was raised by a family of Cleveland tree monkeys. Why, we're probably the first humans he's ever seen. Oh, Father, something strange is happening to me. Uh, my skin, it's tingling, and my blood pressure, it's rising, and my whole liver, it's pulsating. It's a definite wow. Well, I want to marry him. Well, maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I don't think a girl should run off with the first monkey she meets. I don't care. I want it. And I'm not leaving this future parking lot, even if I have to pay the maximum. Well, goodbye, Buana. Where are you going, Harvey? I'm not in the rest of the sketch. Oh, <laughs> oh they all devised a plan to refine the monkey man So that he could wed our girly known as Shirley Now you repeat after me. King Kong was a ding dong who went to Hong Kong to play ping pong. <laughs> Come out of here and get back in that chair. Oh, Daddy, it's no use. I'm going to start dating again. Now, wait a minute. I'm getting to like this little fella. You know, last night when I was sleeping, he snuck into my bed and he slept at my feet all night and kept me warm. Oh. And you won't find many son-in-laws who will do that. <laughs> Come in. Uh, excuse me, Bron. I've been thinking it over. I think I was wrong in leaving the sketch so early. <laughs> now look, monkey man. We're at the end of our rope. Either you say King Kong was a ding-dong who went to Hong Kong to play ping-pong, 
Or I'll belch over the head of this bat. <laughs> oh, King Kong was a ding dong, went to Hong Kong to play ping pong. He did it, now we can get married. How come, monkey man, you never spoke before? Well, you never had a bat before. <laughs> you said thought I am gonna leave this sketch. <laughs> We're going to a wedding now, a wedding now with you To hear the famous monkey man and surely say I do Such a handsome boy, I wonder where she met him Did you have any trouble parking? This is the happiest day of my life. You're getting married. All my friends are here. All the parking lots are filled. And I didn't have to validate. Hi, Harvey. I thought you weren't going to be in the sketch anymore. Well, I came for the wedding, but I'm not going to stay for the reception. <laughs> uh, who gives this woman's hand in marriage? I do. Her father. <laughs> Would you like a monkey biscuit? Uh, no thanks. <laughs> we are gathered here to join in wedlock. Shirley Van Schuyler to Coco, <laughs> whose background nobody seems to know anything about. Where he was educated remains a mystery. We don't know how much he gives to charity what his father does, whether or not he has brothers or sisters, or what his hobbies are. <laughs> Do you and Shirley uh, take Coco to be your lawful wedded husband? Yes, I do. <laughs> and Coco, do you take Shirley to be your lawful wedded wife? <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, King Kong was a ding-dong, went to Hong Kong to play King Kong. Just say I do, you dumb monkey. <laughs> Don't move, nobody. I'll get him. Boy, I'm gonna start dating again. Uh, hit it, Bernie. <laughs> Be calm, everybody. Be calm. I'll validate. I'll validate. <laughs> Though they've ever tied the knot, there's one thing about our plot. We're delighted that it's got a happy ending. Oh, Daddy, you're so smart. We're going to be richer than ever. Yes, Shirley. We're making more money with him than I am with my parking lots. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like that? I was gonna go home, and now I wind up with the biggest part. Thank you. Thank you very much. A wild applause. It's been a wonderful audience. <laughs> Thank you very much. It really has. It's been a great show. You know, uh, the early ones didn't get rolling the way this one did, but... This one really took off, and I, I don't know, four standing ovations, I guess that's a record, isn't it? Was it four? Four. Four. It was four. Okay. Thought it was going to be five there. Okay. 
Also, uh, besides thanking our regulars, I'd also like to thank the Cannes Film Festival Award and also Julie Andrews and Clay Kent. <laughs> also, some of the regulars we have here tonight, really, the trophies are in my office. Beautiful. Uh, McLean Stevenson, Bonnie Bolin, Bruce Bell and David Somerville, the Tom Hansen dancers, Sally Struthers, and my good friend, Mr. Art. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you want to get off, guys? You know, a little crowded out here when we all stay. Thank you very much. Uh, also, I'd like to thank my guests for this evening. He'll turn this way first and go over here now. Connie Stevens. Connie, you had a marvelous time here tonight. You had a lot of fun. And I think you really enjoyed it. Connie uh, had a little trouble because she was also playing Vegas at the same time, flying back and forth. But it was really worth it. And she had a ball, right? Yes. Good. I'm going to go talk to Walter. Do you want me to tell him anything? <laughs> <laughs> Waller, Connie said. <laughs> so probably a carryover from the old school days. You know what I mean? I'll tell you what. Yeah, you want to come with me a moment, Waller? Uh, uh, you've had a lot of experience making in albums and everything, and uh, recitations and everything. I, I wonder if tonight you'd read the closing for me. Gee, it's all fine and dandy, sugar candy. When I'm with you. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> This is your announcer speaking.